My name is Laura Kissel and I'm the Polar Curator for the Bird Polar and Climate Research Center Archival Program. Today we find ourselves in our Stacks Warehouse. I want to talk to you today about where it is that we house the material that we use to provide access to everyone's research requests. So this is the book depository here at the Ohio State University Archives. Anyone who works here at the University Archives and Book Depository has to be willing to drive one of these forklifts. Um, the forklifts go up. That means we go up in the forklift. Um, they go 30 feet high, and that is how we retrieve materials from our massive stacks area. Also, the climate in the Book Depository is very much controlled. So it's, the temperatures are cool, the humidity is low, and those are the conditions that are conducive for storing books and paper and artifacts. Also have housed in this facility are the archival collections. Here in this building we house three special collections. We house the papers of John Glenn and the Ohio Public Policy Archives. We house the University Archives which documents the history of the Ohio State University and we also house the Polar Archives which documents the history of polar exploration. When you want to do research here at the archives, we have finding aids that allow you to look at inventories to our collections and decide what it is you want to use. You can see from the expanse of this storage area why it's important that you do some work prior to your visit to the archives. This is not a browsing collection. You can't come in here and just choose the box that answers your research questions. But we're here to help you. So if you're looking to do any kind of research in archival collections, that's what the archivist is here for. We are here to help guide you so that you can figure out which of these many thousands of boxes holds the uh, items of your research interest.